Hi Year 2, welcome to your second reading comprehension lesson this week. Remember this week we're looking at fiction texts, so these are texts that are stories, they're not true. Our fiction text today is called The Fox and the Lion by Kate Russell. The lion was getting old, he couldn't see very well and his knees hurt when he ran. This meant that he wasn't able to hunt anymore and he was getting hungry. He came up with a cunning plan to encourage his dinner to come to him. He sat near his cave and told passing animals that he was ill and would like visitors to come and chat with him. Many animals felt safe, thinking that the lion was weak and came close enough to talk. However, when the visitors came close enough, the lion did not so much chat to them as to eat them. One day, a fox passed by the cave. Hello, fox, whispered the lion. I'm too weak to talk. I can only whisper at the moment. Could you come closer? I don't think so, said fox. I noticed that while there are lots of footprints going towards your cave, there are none coming away from it. I think I'll be on my way. So before you answer the questions, remember Miss Gossage's top tips. Read your questions slowly and carefully. Take note of the words in bold. Underline or highlight the keywords in the question and find them in the text. Then read around the words to find the answer. If there's more than one part to a question, then treat each part separately. Here are your questions. Pause the video here to answer them. And when you're ready for the answers, press play again. Question number one, look at the first paragraph. What does the word cunning mean? Tick one. Look at that word in bold. You just need to tick one of the options below. And the best way to answer this is by using what we call the process of elimination. So get rid of the ones you know it's not. Give yourself a mark if you put a tick next to clever. Question number two, where did the lion sit? Give yourself a mark if you wrote near his cave. Question number three, find and copy two words that tell you what the lion did when the animals came close to chat to him. Look at those words in bold, you're finding and copying just two words and give yourself a mark if you wrote eat them. Question number four, why did the fox not go closer to the lion's cave? Give yourself a mark if you wrote something along the lines of that he could see that no other animals had come away from the cave or that he knew that the lion was going to eat him. Question number five, what do you think the lion would have done if the fox had come close to him? Give yourself a mark if you wrote eaten him. Number six, what lesson does this fable teach us? Tick one. So look at that word in bold. You just need to tick one of the options below and give yourself a mark if you tick a lion is always a dangerous animal. Well done for working so hard, you two. I will see you next time. Bye.